The property and owner profile provides all the details on the property, its owners, and the surrounding neighborhood. There are several ways to navigate to the profile, from list results, from discover, or from lookup. Once you've arrived on a profile, you'll see the four primary navigation tabs. First up, the Overview tab, where you'll find a summary of the property and its owners. The Property tab, which provides in-depth information on the property and tools for running comparables and investment analysis. Next, click on the Contacts tab to access information about each property owner. Finally, the Neighborhood tab, for an overview of the area where the property is located. The tabs on the left side of the screen enable you to jump to exactly the information you need. In the upper right corner, you'll find a picture of the property, a street view, aerial view, or photo depending on what's available. And the map allows you to see the location of the property. Set your interest in the property using a 5-star rating system. The selection box in the sidebar allows you to select or deselect this property in your list so that you can manage those items as a group when you go back to the list. The arrow buttons allow you to navigate to the previous or next property in your list. You can see which lists this property is already in under My Lists, or add the property to another list. You can also set a status for a property to manage your workflow. Your status settings can be customized to your particular business needs and settings. The arrow in the upper left lets you return to the feature you came from. On the map, you can zoom in and out, pan to look around, and switch between street and aerial view or expand the map to see it in full screen. The toolbar at the top offers three views, map, bird's eye, and street side. The locate button will move the map to another location so you can see where this property is relative to that location. Use the measurement tools to measure a distance or area on the map. Add a layer, for example, estimated value to see a heat map of home values in the area. From there, click bird's eye view to see the property from various directions. Use the compass in the right-hand corner to change the direction. You can also zoom in and out using the scroll wheel on your mouse or a touch gesture. From there, click onto street side view to see the property from the street. Look up and down the street to view the neighbors. And zoom in for more detail. Now, let's look at the overview tab. It provides a summary of the property and its owners. The property panel shows a summary of the property characteristics, like the number of bedrooms and bathrooms. The contacts panel shows an overview of the owners. Click on the owner to retrieve more information. The value panel shows a summary of the value, equity, and ownership of the property. Easily add photos that you've taken of the property. The mobile app makes this easy when you're out in the field. The Property tab shows details from the County Assessor, Recorder, and other sources to provide a detailed picture of the property, split into the following sections. The location of the property, the land or site of the property, the building or structure on the property, the value of the property including equity, debt, purchase price, and more. Comparable sales, listings, and foreclosures to help you determine your own value. Property tax information including the assessed owner, the history of transactions on the property, including deeds, mortgages, and more. Details on current and past foreclosure notices filed against the property. Listing history on the property and links to popular real estate portals for more information. There's also a place for you to upload photos, notes, and files for future reference. And there's an investment analysis tool for real estate investors. Finally, make sure to take some time to read and understand our disclaimer. The Contacts tab shows the name of each property owner and a variety of information about them, including phone numbers. We work hard to get good numbers and show the best first. When calling, always be neighborly and comply with all laws and regulations. If we have an email, you'll see an option to send them an invite. In seeking the best email addresses, we had to agree not to give them to you, so this tool allows you to reach out and for the contact to then share their email directly with you. Their mailing address is also available. This is where their property tax bill is sent and may be the same as the property address. 
Same for their primary residence, which is useful when looking into owners with multiple properties. We also include demographics data, which isn't always accurate, but gives you a great starting point for conversations and understanding more about them. You can set up a primary contact, which will be shown first and used in exports and marketing. To add other contacts, such as another owner, a renter, or even a vendor, click Add Contact. Click the Edit icon to update the contact's name. Add a phone number, email address, or social media link. Finally, the Neighborhood tab provides an overview of the area the property is located and compares it to the wider region. Information includes demographics and housing data from the U.S. Census, housing risk indicators for that neighborhood, a list of neighboring properties, and key weather and temperature information for the area. Whether at the office or on the go, Property Radar's comprehensive property and owner intelligence helps you to better understand your potential deals, decisions, and customers. Download our mobile app for iPhone and Android and always have the information you need with you. At Property Radar, we're always just a click away to answer any questions you may have. And if you see missing or incorrect data, please let us know so we can investigate and correct it.